Hi everybody, Vegas film critic here, Jeffrey K. Howard, and happy Valentine's Day 2016. Of course, we have a romantic comedy. It's something to take your date to, your significant other, whatever. How to be single. Kind of a weird date movie to go to if you're married, but if you're single, I guess, here's a movie that it just fits the bill. So if you're going to do a dinner, if you're going to do a show or something, like this is a great movie to take a date to. And I went in kicking and screaming. Okay, I'm single. Eh, I'm, I'm going to admit it. And I just did not want to see four women and their their dating lives. It just didn't interest me. But you know what? It won me over. It really did. And I was kind of afraid of this because we have four stars in the movie. Uh, Dakota Johnson, i got to read it. Dakota Johnson, Rebel Wilson, Leslie Mann, and Alison Brie. And the movie's almost two hours long, so I thought, oh my god, all four of these women are going to have their own story, and it's just going to be, oh my god, tedious. They do. They all have their own story. But you know what? They're great. I mean, it doesn't slow down. It doesn't drag. Uh, real quick, I'm not going to go into all the details of this movie, because, you know, I want you to experience it. I'm just telling you overall how wonderful it is, uh, how acceptable it is. It's it's a comedy drama, you know, it's, it's a romantic thing by the numbers, you know, it's nothing to write home about, but it satisfies that Valentine's Day demand, you know, of a, of a romantic comedy. Dakota Johnson, she's only been with one guy her whole life. These are all early 20-somethings. So she's like, hey, I want to break up with you. I want to go experience other men and just, you know, sample what other men life has to offer. And so she dumps her boyfriend and then she just starts dating and she meets Rebel Wilson. They work in the same law office and they just go out partying every night. They're going to clubs. They're waking up in strange men's apartments. They're just having the greatest time because Rebel Wilson is just this fireball of comedic talent. I mean, she's just look at the trailer. I mean, she just has these zingers, these one-liners. She is just a ball of energy. She's great comic relief throughout the whole film. Then we have Leslie Mann. This was my favorite storyline. She's a, the older sister of Dakota Johnson's character, and she's a doctor. She uh, delivers babies, and she doesn't want a baby. But now she's kind of changed her mind, so she goes to a sperm clinic. She gets impregnated, and then she meets a young guy at a party, and she's having fun with him. But she's like, look, you know, I just want to be single, I want to have a baby on my own, and of course, that relationship gets complicated, and uh, the guy who plays her boyfriend, uh, Jake Lacey, man, he's funny. Really good. These are the kind of movies where, ten years from now, you're going to say, that's Jake Lacey's a big star, and you're going to go back and go, remember he was in How to Be a Single? How to Be Single? You know, remember that movie? He had a little bit part in that. Very funny. That's my favorite storyline. And then, of course, we've got um, Alison Brie, I think, is the weakest storyline. And she's anti-dating, uh, you know, unless it's something compatible on social media. So she's at Match.com. She's all those things. And she's very scientific about the kind of man she wants. And all these details and all these demands on what, what the man should be. All right, one final thought on Rebel Wilson. She steals every scene she's in. And she is such a talent. She is so funny. She's bigger than life. It's just, you, it's hard to contain her. I mean, I can't wait to see her when she's in her own movie, uh, like Trainwreck, you know, this is like something that's a starring vehicle for her. But she's paying her dues right now, but that woman has got so much talent. And the reason why she didn't have her own storyline, there's a twist at the end of the movie, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but if they wanted to do that final twist, that big joke at the end, she couldn't have a storyline like the rest of the women where she was dating and being disappointed and all the trials and all that kind of stuff and how to be single. So she provided all the comic relief throughout the film, then at the end there's a giant twist with her character, so... I guess it works, you know, but I want to see her doing something a little bit more, you know, as a starring role. So, anyway, How to Be Single, great Valentine's Day movie, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. It really is. All right, for more reviews and interviews, surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, comment below, thumbs up. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard. I'll see you next time.